must be right. Tame the sea with your songs. It's calming down. Keep playing. No, oh, now it's getting angry. The wind has completely screwed up my hair today, so we're going with the hat. Some people get upset that I wear hats in videos. I am perfectly okay with that. I'm sat in a really awkward place in my rodent room where I'm almost crushed up against the door here because there is an enormous spoiler in this room for that big secret thing that I've been keeping from you guys since September, I think. Um, and I didn't figure until today that I can't really film in here because it would give that away. We're not gonna film in here, but my next video is going to be announcing that secret and finally revealing it so that I am then free to film in here. In the meantime, I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys asking how I've been doing with this whole nitrogen situation and I am through the initial shock and the initial trauma of it. It's been, um, it's been a little over a week, week and a half now since he passed and it's still difficult, it's still an emotional topic, so we're not really gonna talk about it here. But I will say, I'm, I'm through the initial part, and we are now just moving forward and carrying on with things. I'm doing okay. We're moving forward. We're making happy and upbeat content again, and trying to look forward to the rest of December, because December's gonna be a fun month. As for Vlogstis this year, I am, of course, starting the December video season later than normal. I'd normally start on December 1st. I'm not going to be doing daily content because, as I've discovered from the last two years of trying to do daily vlogging December, before that I never used to do daily vlogging December. And then 2017, 2018, I thought, I'll give that a go. And all I learned from it is that I should never do daily vlogging. I have a ton of respect for channels that are entirely based on daily vlogging, the 365 vlogging channel. I, I don't know how. They do it and I'm not sure how they continue to stay alive because there's absolutely no way they're getting any sleep doing that job. So we're not doing the daily content this year because I, I, I don't need any more brain cracks, thank you. But I will be posting more content than usual, it just won't be every single day. I've already got, I think, two pre-recorded videos which should be coming up over the next few days after this one. And then after that I think I'm gonna have to just wing it. <laughs> anyway, that's the chatty stuff out of the way, let's, let's go do some other things. This is a disgusting meat treat that Elizabeth absolutely loves. Bertie hates it. Bertie won't even touch it. Elizabeth, though, <laughs> as you can see, is quite excited. <laughs> hey, be nice about this. Mmm, processed meat stick thing. Delicious. Careful now, you're chewing the plastic. Just, just put, put the stick part in your mouth. Eat the food bit. <laughs> there we go. Well done. She inhales food. Where the heck did that go? That was huge. You're a pig. You're an absolute pig. Hey. Hey there. You've been sleeping all day. You been lazy boy. You. Yeah. Is that nice and comfy in my armchair? Where I can't sit with my blanket and my pillow. Hmm? You wanna play? <laughs> That's a yes. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Ah. <laughs> no, no, you can't take the ball out of the holder.
my goodness. It is cold out there. And I know, I can hear Tori screaming at me all the way from Canada. 20 degrees is cold to me. I can't feel my fingers. And my throat is burning. Uh, you're right, Bert. Elizabeth's been really weird the last couple of days. I don't know why, but she has reverted back to being a kitten, which is fine. That, it's always fun. It's just, um, you know, there's a lot of energy in her all of a sudden. <laughs> now allow me to share with you the extent of our decorations this winter as we lead up to the winter solstice celebrations. So it, I've literally just done the living room. I couldn't be bothered this year. I'm just, I'm feeling lazy. We've got some tins. We've got a deer that's very cold and wintry. We've got basket of presents, yay. Got some random deer. We've got our solstice dinosaurs, which um, I don't know. This is our branch this year. You may notice a difference in comparing this to our previous branches in that this branch is A, alive, and B, not a branch. Traditionally, either the last week of November or the first week of December, we head up this hill that has a pine forest on top and we get a branch from there and we decorate that, but we didn't get a chance to go up there this year. So I thought I'll just, I'll just decorate this big boy and um, I like him, he's good, he looks pretty. As per usual, I did up the unit thing. Tree, Archibald, deer, sign, things, another tree, lantern full of fairy lights. And I found the old stockings that we bought years ago in a vlog a long time back. Remember those? Yeah, still got them. We also have this insane star-shaped lampshade, which I decided to put on the little light that hangs above the dog's living room bed because you know, festive dogs. There's also a deer on that pillow. Oh, and a wreath up here, so our kitchen is also decorated. Concerned it may be coming across that I'm not looking forward to the winter solstice this year. I am. I'm just... I couldn't be bothered to decorate that much, so... This is, this is what we have. And it looks pretty, and it's good enough, and I like it, and Dan likes it, so... That's all that matters. Why do you exist the way that you do? Every time I turn the camera off, there it is, this is the noise, so you can't hear what a brat he's being, but he is being a brat today. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, did I get you in the eye? You are a brat, aren't you? I raised you to be a brat. Yeah. Yeah. Regretting that now, but you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Yes, you too. <laughs> this one is also a brat, but that's Dan's fault. I've just discovered that we have a lot less food in the apartment than I initially believed we had, which means I have to walk down to the shop and buy some more. It's about a 10 minute walk. This is what I'm wearing. I got this big chonky scarf. It's so nice. It rolls up past your face. It's lovely. I don't want to go outside, but I want food. It's the story of my life. Wish me luck.